All right, so what we're going to do first is just click on this green Get Started Now button. And that's going to bring us to this page where we're going to select our hosting plan. Now you guys can select whatever plan you want, but I'm going to go with the basic plan for $2.95 per month. Now this is where we're going to choose our domain name. Now this can be a little confusing if you guys don't know what you want already for your domain name. But here's some tips if you're a little lost when it comes to choosing a name for your website. And then once you figure out what name you want, you can just type it in right here. And then you can click on the blue next button to see if it's available. And then if your domain is available, it'll tell you up there in green at the top. And if we scroll down here, this is where we're going to select our hosting plan. And I'm just going to select the 12 month for 295. And then if we come down here, these are some package extras that if you guys decide that you want, you can keep on there. Or if you don't want them, you can also get rid of them. I'm actually going to get rid of this one. And then I'm going to get rid of this one. And you guys can always go back through once you have your hosting and turn these back on if you want. And then I'm going to get rid of this one right here. I'm going to go down here and then I'm going to fill out this payment information and then I'll be back. All right, and then once you guys have filled out all your billing info, you can just check that box right there and then click on that green submit button. And now that's done and we're going to create our account now. So all you have to do is click on this blue create your account button. And then when it comes here, all we have to do is create a password for our Bluehost account. Check this box and then again, click that blue create account button. And then now we're going to click this blue go to login button. And we're just going to log into our account now. All right, now we can scroll down here and click this create your website button. And then once we get here, we're going to skip a bunch of these steps coming up just because we're going to cover all that stuff later in WordPress. And the reason I like to do this is so if you guys need to go back and change anything anytime, you guys know how to do it within your WordPress dashboard. So then once it gets here, we're going to go down to where it says Limitless Customization. Click on Get Started. We're going to skip this step. This one too. And then we're going to scroll down here. We're going to pick this later, so we're going to click on Skip This Step. Alright, and now WordPress is installing. All right, and now this is our Bluehost dashboard. So what we need to do now is go and verify our email address. So whatever email you use to sign up with Bluehost, you're just gonna go there and you're gonna see an email just like this one. And all you need to do is click on this green verify your email button. All right, and then after that, we're going to log into WordPress. So you can just click that log into WordPress button. And now this is what your WordPress dashboard will look like. And now we're going to activate our site. So we can click on that coming soon active button. Then we're going to scroll down here. And you guys can wait till your website is done before you launch it or you can launch it now. We're just going to launch it now though. It really doesn't matter. You'll actually notice up at the top it says box temp domain. That's just a temporary domain until you wait a few hours after your WordPress site has been verified and then Bluehost will switch it back over to your regular domain. So if we refresh later and you come to your page after a few hours you'll notice our regular URL is right there and then we're going to log into WordPress. You guys can log in right there on the right or you can go over to my sites here and click on manage site and then again Click on that log into WordPress button right there. 
And then we're back at our WordPress dashboard. As you can see, our URL is final. And that's it. We've installed WordPress and we have our site ready to go. And now we can start building.